Chow Chin Chow, San Turn Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Gold 97 Let's Play. In the last episode, we made it right here to Prince City for Base Camp of the Pokemon League Challenge. And today we're going to make our ascent up Mount Fuji and get to the Pokemon League. To do that, we need to surf, but we'll before we do that, and we need to surf and climb a waterfall. Before we do that, I've done a little bit of grinding off screen. Everybody is level 42. Let's take a look at the team. So we're going to start with Monty of Bellring, level 42, with Faint Attacks, Headbutt, Shadow Ball, and Cut. Then we have Volti Iorialta, level 42, with Spark, Thunder Wave, Slam, and Thunder Shock. Then we have Daisy, our Manamine, level 42, uh, with the scope lens to get all the crits in the world, hopefully, with wing attack, sword stance fly, and steel wing. Then we have Wisp, our Weeping Bell, level 42, holding the leftovers, has learnt Razor Leaf finally, so we can evolve. Uh, she can evolve, sorry. And she has growth, poison powder, and sludge bomb as well. Then we have Titan R. Aquar Aquilius? Aquilius? I think it is. I'm going to say Aquarius, so. Anyway, Titan R. Aquarius with Bubble Beam, Surf, Icy Wind, and Strength. Holding the Mystic Water Boost Water type moves. We have Tricky R. Bomb Seal. Level 42 with Waterfall, Flame Wheel, Surf, and Rain Dance. That is our team rather quickly. Now, we, a couple of episodes back, I got a Poison Stone. This evolves Wisp into a brand new, well, I say brand new, into a Betamon, and I want to see it. What? Wisp is evolving? Yeah, so apparently, Weeping Bell Victory... Uh, Weeping Bell was supposed to have a split evolution between Victory Bell and this by Pedal. So there we go. This is by Pedal. Uh, so let's take a look at this thing. By Pedal, Glass Poison type, level 42. Uh, rate. So there's its moveset. Can I see its move? Oh, okay. So that's its stats. So this is bipedal. I am actually really interested in using it because it's a beta mod and that's just amazing. I love the idea of these brand new beta mods. I am all for hashtag bring back the beta decks. I want to see things like bipedal. I want to see like things like bell ring. I mean, I know I've seen what these things of how these things are turned into new Pokemon. I have, I kind of, fudge this up by going across this side but uh yeah i mean we've seen what these pokemon can ascend into i mean like look at bomb seal and then look at pop leo and tell me that's not pop leo but um other than that i would just really want to see a bomb seal i really want to have a bell ring uh, my own little bell ring it's, these pokemon are so cool Anchor Ridge. Okay. This is probably a wrong fight for Monty's Volty. Get in here, please. A supersonic. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying to deal with. Please, Volty. Please don't do. Uh, please don't hit yourself, Volty. Please don't hit yourself, Volty. What did I just say? What did I just say, Volty? I told you not to hit yourself, and you do. Faulty. Thank you. Spark should come through and destroy this, right? Yeah. I have looked. Uh, these are the levels I'm going off for gold I, uh, for the moment in time. I don't actually... There's no guide to gold 97, so I'm just going off uh, levels that I have in gold. That's a blissy? Okay. Whatever you say, game. Whatever you say, that's Blissey. I mean, it's still got Blissey's, uh, Blissey's awful defense stat. So, I'm happy with that. 
And I'm still hitting you with slam. Even though you minimize, I still hit you with slam. And I still get all a lot of EXP from killing you. So, yeah, you're blissy. That is very much blissy. And that's Caesar. Not as different as I thought you might be from your actual what you actually look like. You know, except for the fact you're green. When you should be red. Caesar is red. Which is fine. Ooh, so close to killing you with flame wheel. I mean I wish I had flamethrower, but you know, doesn't learn that. It's kind of annoying that this thing doesn't learn that. You were faster than me because of agility. Another flame wheel should kill you though. Nice! I will very much take. I will very much take, and that got me so much experience. Like, that was almost a free level there. What do you have for me, gentlemen? What do you have? You're an instructor. Okay, instructor Jeff has an Emperos. I mean, I still have nothing that deals with Emperos. So, yeah. Electric is just one of those Pokemon I just don't have stuff that deals with right now. I need to find stuff that... Well, I, I need to be able to teach Dig. But no one can learn it. My entire team can't learn Dig. And I like I would like to have someone who could learn Dig. I've got Dig. It's a very good move. And I'd love to learn it, but apparently we can't learn it. I'd like if someone could learn... Like, this is... I'm guessing this place is the equivalent of Victory Road. And Victory Road in gold had a Earthquake in it. So if I can find that, I want that. I would very much like that. If I could find it, I would like that. I mean, I have Monty out front, so this should destroy Mon. Uh, this should destroy. Does nice damage. I got... Yes, you missed. Cool. Because I'm not sure... Egg Bomb might have done a lot of damage to Monty. Because that is a normal type move. And that's super effective on me. Which is scary. Well, I'm glad you missed. I will battle you. Fine. What do you got? Let's deal with you as well. You are a cool trainer, Joyce. Joyce the cool trainer has a Pikachu. Why do you have a Pikachu this, uh, this late in the game? Please get another Mon. Just like go and bin this and go and get another Mon. Because like, I know Red, the reason why Red has a Pikachu is because Red has a Pikachu. You know, he's based on the anime. Yeah, he, well, he, you know, Red had a Pikachu and just one of the things that Red did. He had a Pikachu. I kind of want Wisp to get it. I kind of want Wisp to kill this Blastoise. She has a powerful mom, but I kind of want Wisp to deal with this. Now he's fully evolved. I kind of want Wisp to deal with this. Wisp kind of looks like a... Pr pr maybe in a way a Piranha Plant. Possibly. Rain Dance. Okay. That does nothing for you. And another Razor Leaf should kill. You just wasted your turns. You had an opportunity to do something to me. I don't know what you would have done, but it could have been something. Anything. But you chose not to do a darn thing. That's your own fault. Do I have repels just in case I need them? I have three. Oh. I mean, I probably should... I probably should buy some. What can I find here? Right on! I mean, it is Victory Road, so I would find rock and ground types, obviously. You know what? Let's go back and let's go and get some uh, repels. I 
Okay, I need to surf and then I can do that. Okay, so let's go and heal. And then let's go and get some repels. And we'll try and get through Mount Fuji today. That is the plan. Try and get through Mount Fuji today. I don't know what I'm going to be dealing with. It's already more interesting than Victory Road in Gold is because, you know, Victory Road in Gold has no trainers. But then again, we also don't have, like, Route 26 and Route 27. So, you know, Route 26 and Route 27 were four trainers. In the, in the original games. Full of trainers, so, you know, it makes sense for this to, you know, not be like that. Okay, so I'm going to put a repel up. Since I have three super repels, I'll use them for the moment in time, but, you know, I'll get to my max repels I just bought in a minute. When we need to. Let's get on our bike. And let's see where we can go from here. Hello. You're making final preparations for the Pokemon League. Okay. Let's see what you got. Cool trainer Jake. You're going to need more than two Pokemon and you're definitely going to not need that Parasect. This is a horrible fight for Monty. Daisy, would you mind coming out here and dealing with this, please? You can deal with this, Daisy. Spore! Oh, that is not good. Why did I forget you guys get Spore? I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with Sleep Claws. Okay, I'm fine. I wake up, I wake up rather easily. And this should kill? Fly should kill from here? But you're not beefy. Yeah. And what do you ha have next? A gold duck. Uh, Volty, please. I want to use Volty because uh, there's a possibility this Mon might have uh, like a psychic type move because I, I'm i running gold duck in the pond block and I have a psychic type move on Volt, uh, on my gold duck. I have a psychic type move on Steve. So I don't want to deal with that. I prefer not to deal with that. Speaking of it, thank you guys for enjoying the pond lock. I know uh, me and Izzy have never worked together before. Basically, we barely even met before this, but like, I hope you guys are actually enjoying that series because it's just something that I, I wanted to cook up. The open door policy with my channel is basically what it is. I mean, I love working with new poker tubers all the time. Like, people I haven't worked with before and... Uh, getting them guys getting those guys out there to you guys my subscribers because they deserve every right to uh, become like huge in the in the pokemon space if they want to if they need to i want to get sh i want lights shined upon anyone i'm very much willing to work with people i'm very much willing to shout people out i am very much willing to help people with their gfx i am very much willing to help get any new poker tubers uh, to where they need to be, I am very much appreciate. I am very much appreciated of where I came from, and if I if I can supply anyone with the help that they need, I'm very much going to do that. I am very much going to do that because I want to help. I am a very helpful person. That's it's just my in my nature as a lantern that we need to help people. That's what we do. That's very much what we do. And I want to show that the Lantern Nation is warm, is welcoming, and you guys seem to be enjoying the series of the Pond Lock from what I've seen. I mean, oh, episode one for me. This is Sunday's episode of uh, Gold Ninety Seven. And Pondlock came out on Friday. I'm recording this Saturday, so it seems to be going over pretty well. The next episode will be on Izzy's channel on Tuesday. Hopefully, you guys will join us over there. I will leave Izzy's link in the description below. Or a nice little card in the corner right about now, if I can remember. Not very good at remembering things, but, you know, I'll leave that to editing, Joe. 
And he'll say thank you very much, Joe, in about four hours when this video goes up. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? You put you put an adorable doll with my money. I know you I know you know I like dolls, but stop buying beautiful adorable dolls with my money. It's my money! I don't even know how much money you actually have on mine. But um, I would like to find out before the Pokemon League. I would very much like to find out because that could be more items I buy. You know, more healing items, more hyper potions, more full restores, more full heals, more energy roots. And revival herb. That could be really useful going into this. You're not going to have anything that Wisp can't deal with. Pulls out Aurora Beam. Basically, I, my entire life has been a lie. You do have something that Wisp can't deal with. My entire life has been a lie. Okay. I mean, a race leaf should kill. Yeah. Okay. And an artillery. Stay in. I know this thing is possibly going to have a uh, Aurora Beam as well, since Memoraid just had Aurora Beam, but I'm pretty sure we could kill it with uh, one, maybe two Razor Leafs from our beautiful new Pipedal. I am very, very happy to have this beautiful new bipe uh, bipedal. I am just very happy that Wisp is finally able to show why he deserves to be on this team. That is, that is what I am very happy about. Wisp is finally able to show that Wisp, uh, that they should be on this team. Man time. Faint attacks. I probably should have gone into uh, Volty and dealt with this. Yeah. Very much should have gone into Volty and deal with this. I am very glad that that takedown did not uh, hurt Monty because that would have hurt. It doesn't hurt Volty that much, but it would have hurt Monty, but super effective. Okay. There we go, Monty goes to level 43, I will take that. And... Kingdra. Oh. That's what Kingdra looks like. This is not going to be very... Is this... Actually, that did damage. I was not expecting it to do damage because, you know, Kingdra war... Maybe you're not Water Dragon. Or maybe you are, you're just not... Maybe I'm just not doing this right. Either way, I'm doing nice damage with Volty. And I will very much take that. Slam. There we go. Level 43 for Volty. Beautiful. Volty is trying... Yes! That's why, Volty. That's why I've been leveling you. Get rid of Thundershock. Now we know Thunderbolt. I am so happy. I am very, very happy. Hang on. Is there an item here? There is an item here. You can't fool me, game. Can't just leave an, an odd rock in the middle of nowhere and expect me to not click IA on it and see if there's an item there. Just what I do. There's a hole there. Okay. I don't know what that hole is about. I guess we'll see what's, da uh, what's past this engineer and then we'll see if we can uh, deal with this. That's Elekid. That is elegant, ladies and gentlemen. I was not expect. I mean, I was expect. I want. I did want to see elegant, but I did not think elegant would look like that. I very much did not think elegant would look like that. 
So we've seen uh, we've seen Bipedal, we've seen Alakids respriting, we've seen uh, Blissey. Electabuzz, I have nothing for this. Wisp, can you deal with this? Uh, maybe with a razor leaf. And that should do damage. It might not kill. It's probably a two hit. That's fine. Swift is fine. I don't know what your third Pokemon is going to be. Because, you know, Electivire is a fourth gen mon, so you won't have that unless I'm very much mistaken. Electivire is not part of the Gold 97 decks. And an Electrode. Okay. Makes sense. You know, you have an Electivire uh, and uh, you have a... Uh, uh, it makes sense. You have an Elekid and an Electabuzz, so an Electrode would make sense too. You are an engineer after all. I got a crit. I got a crit Razor Leaf. I know Razor Leafs are prone to crit, so I'm not, you know, like excited about that, but I'll take it. I will very much take it. Hang on. Let's see what's down here. Nothing. Okay. Looks like there might be something, but nope, there is nothing. I want to see what's down that hole now. Might have to look. I might have to go down there eventually and see what's down there. Item TM26. That is. That's that got to be EQ. That has got to be EQ, and I want it on somebody. That is EQ. Okay. Volty can learn it. I'm doing it. Volty, you are learning EQ. The other person that can learn it is Titan, but I don't really want Titan to learn it. I don't really feel like it would be very good on Titan, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get rid of Slam. There we go. We have Earthquake, finally. I knew someone would be able to learn it, and I'm very happy that I have somebody who has a Ground-type move, finally. Okay. I will battle you. Let's see what you have for me. Cool trainer. Quinn. Okay. Ivysaur. This is probably a horrible fight. So, Daisy, would you mind getting in here, please? You know, Daisy, do your wing attacky thingy. I mean, she could have the entire... She could have the entire Bulbasaur evolution line, which would be very, very interesting if she did. Seems weird that she'd start with Ivysaur, though. If, if it was me, I'd start with Venusaur. So, quick wing attack, I will take. Uh, what you got for me next? Charmeleon. You're going to have the middle evolution of the starters? I mean, that's cool if you do if you have all three middle evolution canto starters that is kind of cool i am very much into that i am very much into you having all the middle evolutions of the canto starters surf destroy the charmeleon and We have one more Pokemon, a Wartortle. Nice. Okay, that is cool. I'm going to switch into Wisp on that. So we also have, so also on the channel we have the Yes Yeslock Season Three was back on Chips's channel also on Friday, and I get a new episode of that on Tuesday. So we'll have episode two of that coming up this week. I am very, very excited to have Yeslock back uh yes lot versus back for you guys uh me and chips being friends but also friendly rivals just wanting to uh you know fight each other for that yes lot championship and it's gonna be really cool i want that belt yes he's made a belt he's actually made a 3d rendering of a belt and it's really cool and i want it also i want to get revenge for be uh, for him beating me in season one you know um I think I can do it. 
my team uh, no spoilers but it's rather interesting I again I will link that down in the description below or put a card together some I'll do something something will be around I can get dig dug trio cool and Gyarados was in the water as well let me uh, do, put up a rappel get back on my bike Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, fine. Can I go into the water? Yes, I can. Okay. What is across here? Okay, battle you. Not really. It's kind of an interest this is place is actually kind of interesting i've got potions so i'm fine for healing so i can't really get tired you got a turban turban okay i mean if this pokemon actually had came out as an actual pokemon i think they probably would have had to rename it because it is uh well i don't know what it you know these names are just names that people have given them over time. I don't really know what this Pokemon would have been called. But yeah, it would be very, very interesting to get that in the team. Uh, to see what that... How this... That would have been. And then we have the Picacross. This is the pre... -ev this is the pre-evolution of Pizza, right? Yeah, I think... I think this is the uh, pre-evolution of Pizza. It looks like something, or maybe it's the evolution of Pinsir. It looks like Pins, you know, it's Pinsir. It's something to do with Pinsir. It has to be something to do with Pinsir. And do you have a Pinsir? You have a Marowak. Um, let's let Wisp deal with this. Wisp can very much deal with this. With Razor Leaf, go! Very much go and just destroy, please, Wisp. I got a crit again. Awesome. Wisp is doing, doing amazing work. I love it so much. What is... What are you? We're already pretty high up in the mountain. Uh, yes, I am a trainer, but I'm uh, taking a break. I've bought uh, plenty of medicine with me. If, if your Pokemon need to be fully restored, let me know and I can help you out. How about it? Your Pokemon need to be healed? Yes, they do. Thank you. You are very nice. Okay, let me see your Pokemon for just a second. I am okay with Doc. I am okay with doctors being on the route or nurses, someone healing me. I am very much okay with a free heal. Here we are. Your, po your team looks good to go. Thank you. You are amazing. You are an absolute angel. I like you. All right. Sportsman Arthur has a Dodrio. Okay, I mean, and I probably want Volty in, and I want to see Thunderbolt. Okay. These Fury attacks are kind of annoying. Can you stop hitting me with Fury attack now, please? Thank you. Hits four times. Thunderbolt, come through! Beautiful. Okay, Dodrio down. And Sportsman Arthur also has a Tauros. I don't really have a fighting type move on anyone, so that's kind of hard to deal with. I will admit. I'm going to go Daisy. Yeah, I'm going to go Daisy because you could possibly learn an EQ and I don't want to deal with that. I don't really have anything that deals with you though, that's the problem. I don't really have a fighting type move. You know, Brit Break is not a third is not a second gen move. So I can't learn that. I'm fine though. Another wing attack should kill for here. 
My question is, is is the healer we just met, is she a one-off heal or is that, or does she heal me every time? She heals me every time. I really like her. I really like her. You are an angel. Like, honestly, you are. I am very happy that you exist. No, no, no. I wanted to go and see what's the other side of this ladder. Okay. Nothing. Oh, this is the other side where the hole is. And there's a hole. There's a hole here too. Okay. I don't want to fall down these holes, just in case. Cool trainer Jen has a jinx. Okay. I mean, Jinx would have had to have been re-sprited if it actually had came out in the games, but other than that, I think Jinx would have been fine like that. Just slightly recolored to give it its purple face that it has now. Just to make sure that people don't think it's just someone in blackface. You know. Gotta be careful about all that. I don't want to learn Pursuit. I'm fine. No one switches out in these games, so that doesn't really need to exist at this moment in time. Don Fan! Wisp, do you want to deal with this? Don Fan looks exactly like it usually does. But I very much like it. Yeah, they don't really need to change Don Fan, really. It's a good one as it is. It doesn't really need to change. And... Your third Pokemon is a Magma. I need to switch into Titan on that. Titan can deal with this. And Surf. And destroy, please. There we go. Easy. I have a good team, so like everything I can deal with now. And we've now got good TMs like Thunderbolts and Earthquake has now finally been learned on someone. We're pretty much golden for ready ready for this Pokemon League. I'm excited to see what it's all gonna be all about though. You. I will battle you. You are a swimmer. You are Swimmer Kirk. With a Gyarados. Okay. That thing is kind of scary, I will admit. Monty, can you deal with this? Headbutt does nothing. I mean, I flinched it. I will take. I will take the flinch, but it is still doing nothing. And that's super effective, but I lived it. I lived it very well, actually, so I'm not, you know, I'm not horrible right now. I can take these hits. I know there's a healer around, so I'm pretty much okay. Gyarados de destroyed. And you have a Numpuff. What is a Numpuff? Oh! I think this is the thing that evolves into Quillfish. Okay. I think this is the thing that evolves into Quillfish. It went boom. Quillfish doesn't do that. Quillfish does not do that. Whoa, that almost destroyed Daisy. I am not okay with that. I'm not okay with you doing that, Swimmer Kirk. Not okay. Not okay with that. Pretty glad this is not an earthquake. Uh, this is not a Nuzlocke, but, you know, one day, possibly sometime in 2021, I might come back to this series and do a Nuzlocke of this game. Honestly, I feel like this game does. I feel like this game is really good. And deserves a null sock one day. It's a lot of hard. It's a lot of hard work, though. 
to pull off a new gold 97 no slot run. Might have to look into it though, definitely will, definitely look into it. With all these gold, with all these beta ones, and you guys seem to be in, really enjoying this series, so that makes me want to record more with this series and give you guys more videos, and that's basically what I might just do. You know, because it, as much as this game is about exploration for me and finding out what, you know, a lot of, there's really nothing here. There's really nothing here, ladies and gentlemen. As much as it is uh, found about Discovery and uh, checking out these ultra amazing cool beta mons that, uh, that didn't sadly make it through, or the redesigns of some Pokemon that did make it through to Pokemon Gold and Silver, and to see what this cool new region, uh, what this region, or this version of G possible, what could have been Jodo, we'd never know. I mean, this is not called Jodo, but like again, that could have been the ROM hack creator calling it something else. Uh, what they call, uh, what they call the region of this game. You know, for all we know, this could have been Jodo. So possibilities, this could have been Jodo, or. This could have been like the great, uh, sort of the great outer world of, of that surrounds Kanto. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of ideas of what this could have been. With nothing to go off, we don't. I, I'm literally my imagination is everything that I need for this. So, I just have using my imagination, which is quite fast because you know I'm, I'm spending all my life on home. Uh, I'm spending a lot of my time at home, so my imagination is not being used a lot at this moment in time. Because I don't, I don't get to go, to go to work at this moment in time, so you know, I have to deal with what I can. What is this? Okay, further up here. Ooh. Okay, I will battle you. You're a trooper. Okay. Soldier Antino with his Dig Dog Trio. See, this is a this is an interesting trainer class that doesn't actually exist in the game. So I would love. I I think it would be rather interesting to see the Soldier Trainer class. I'm not sure exactly what kind of Pokemon soldiers would have had, and you know, but. It'd be interesting. It would have been very interesting. I mean, you could have had, like, the story of this game could have been, like, the aftermath of the war between Kanto and this, uh, this new region. And it would make sense with all these soldiers about. Primeape. Uh, Daisy? Daisy can deal with a Primeape. Daisy can deal with a prime ape. Fly, my pretty. Focus energy. That's going to bring crits to you, but I'm okay with that. Fly should kill. Fly should kill. All right? Yeah. Fly does kill. Nice. I will take that. It's a crit, but I will very much take it. Level 43 for Daisy. All right, cool. And a turban. Uh, Volti, can you deal with this with a Thunderbolt? I'd also like to find out like how things like Slowbro, like how they got, you know, this turban, oh. Okay, you're not weak to electric. And now I'm paralyzed, great. You are biting. I do not like you. I do not like you biting on me. That does nothing. Okay, I'm going to get destroyed by bide. Storing energy. I'm going to get destroyed by bide. I'm very much going to get destroyed by Vibe because I have nothing that can turn it out right now. It's too late to, to get things that to have things that turn it out. 
Oh, I could just kill it. That's also a very good idea. Thank you, Titan. But it's a very good idea from Titan there. Killing it was always a good idea. What is up here? Can I find anything up here? I don't really want to fight anyone because we've just episode's gone 40 minutes now. It's very late in the episode. So I don't really want to fight anyone. This is a really long cave. I might need to split this up. Oh. Yeah, I think I might need to split this up into two episodes. I thought that this place would be easy to take on, but I think we'll have to end this episode off after this fight and, uh, you know, join you guys in the next episode where we take on the rest of this place. Which I will probably end up recording right now because I just want to get through here. But, you know, I will probably have to end off this episode here after this Titan, you can deal with this, right? Yeah, you could deal with this. Mount, uh, you can deal with this, Rapidash, easily. I'll probably go and heal off screen. You know, since there's a free heal, I might as well take the opportunity to just continue using the free heal. And a Flareon, stay in. And surf again, please. There we go. Destroy. And we'll end off this episode after this Flareon is destroyed. Nice. We beat Fire Breather Walt. Okie dokie, this is where I'm going to end off today's episode of Pokemon Gold 97. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I am Lancer Joe. Me and the Pokemon get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter, at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.